Oh, right. So I have been working on a wonderful Amstrad CPC 464. Now you're going to see a bit of footage in a minute where I've totally messed up <laughs> my camera settings. So hence I'm re-recording this, this bit now. Um, but the it's a wonderful donation by studious volunteer Del Boy Derek from RMC The Cave, the cave down in Stroud, Neil's wonderful museum. Derek's a volunteer there and we were talking on Discord in general one day and I was mentioning the extortionate prices that CPC 464s are now selling for occasionally on eBay in a totally non-working state or untested shall we say close to a hundred pounds if not more and he happened to mention he had a very worse for wear CPC 464 that I could have which I was very grateful to hear yeah so you'll see the machine isn't it in the best of condition um, so you'll see from this dodgily recorded video me talking nonsense but you can't hear me because my settings were wrong uh, but you can see how the machine was in a little bit of a state. Now, Derek said it was stored in an outhouse, but I don't feel that necessarily means an outhouse like, a, like in the British sense or even in the American sense of a toilet. Uh, it's probably an out building of some sort, but you know, even if it was stored in a toilet, I wouldn't be surprised looking at it. So <laughs> you can see here, that the machine is in a poor cosmetic state. He, Derek did say that he, it is in a non-functioning state as we have, he has given it a quick test. Uh, but as you can see, cosmetically on the outside, it's pretty terrible. So obviously the first stage before even considering testing this would be to uh, strip it down, give it a bit of a clean up to ensure that um, we've at least know what we're dealing with here. So I've got the machine set up on my bench and went through the process of just getting it to pieces. Now, once I opened it up, obviously somebody's already been in here because um, the, um, the cassette, the main cabling coming from the cassette um, area was disconnected and some DuPont cables were plugged in and the keyboard was already disconnected. But the actual main board of the machine, the motherboard, isn't doesn't look like it's to be in, in a really bad state whatsoever. It looks pretty okay at first glance. Not the same cannot be said for the the cassette mechanism. It's very very rusty. Now it didn't open originally when I when I was uh, getting it put together. It didn't open originally when I was testing the buttons and things. Uh, it needed to be pried open, but it looks in a very, very poor state. I'm not sure that's going to be salvageable. It's just a lot of rust there. But those can be changed. The main bit is going to be the main board and the chips there that, that hopefully will still be in a usable state. Let's get all this into bits and see where we're at.
Right, so I've given the case a good clean, the best I can at the minute. <clears throat> the keys have been washed and removed. I've not filmed any of that, but you can see that the, the metal base plate isn't in a great condition. It's a bit rusty, so I might have to get some vinegar on that at some point, just to make sure it doesn't carry on. But I've taken all of this off, and this is, this is pristine, pretty much. Um, and everything else seems to be all right there. As I said, the, uh, the main board itself is in a pretty good condition. Uh, I've taken the chips out that, uh, are, that are socketing, given it a bit of a spray with some uh, the old contact cleaner to see whether we can get any, anywhere. And I'm pleased to report there is, a, there is a bit of life to the machine. So what we need to do is sort of diagnose what's going on. So as you can see the screen there, I'm just gonna pop it on. And this is what we're getting. So is this a RAM issue? Is it the CIA or ULA or whatever? I don't know what, what these uh, these Amstrads actually comprise of, to be fair. I don't really have a lot of experience with them. I've had one before, but it, it pretty much worked last time. Um, but yeah, the uh, I don't think the uh, cassette um, um, element of the machine is going to be salvageable it's in a really rough state so where do I go from here so I would like a bit of advice actually from people what is this that we are seeing is this a RAM issue is it one something else that's going on here I'm not too sure I'm happy to take some suggestions Okay then, everything needs to dry off now and so it's obviously clearer water before I can start putting a few bits back together. Uh, so I don't really want to risk putting this back in the case yet, let the case dry completely. No idea what I'm going to do with this. As you can see, it's in a shocking state. I don't think this is, uh, well, it's pretty bad. I don't really. <laughs> Still moves though, um, and the rubber bands are. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. But obviously, at the minute, I need this part of it to to uh, work the switch and everything. Uh, if I can get this back up and running, then I'll consider maybe replacing some components there. We shall see if it's an easier fix on the board. At least there's something to be salvaged. So anyway, for now, um, I'd just like to thank Derek again for giving me this challenge <laughs> to do. <laughs> uh, and we're going to leave it at this stage on this part of the video. Uh, and we'll see if we get any responses in the comments about what could possibly be going wrong with this. 
to help me diagnose what's happening and then any other suggestions. I've also tried to glue the space bar back together and one of the other keys that was brittle when I took it off and snapped a little bit. It looks like it might work, but I'd rather possibly replace the space bar completely because there is a little bit of a gouge missing from it, unfortunately. So it won't be back up to normal even when that even when or if it manages to glue back together so i'll leave it here for now so thanks for having a look at this with me hopefully we're going to get somewhere with it it would be nice to get it back up and running uh, but i could see a lot of components being replaced in the future but we shall see so thanks again for watching i'll catch you on the next part see you later